Hey everybody, it's Jim. Today is a great day. Um, I've been waiting for this for a long, long time. And uh, today I got a package from CGC. So I sent off some comics a while back, it seems like forever, about six months ago, to uh, have graded. I've never done this before. I posted a video at the time kind of showing the four books that I was going to send off. And um, I had a friend that was going to submit them for me. He owns a comic shop, and he was going to uh, do this because he's already a member. And one thing uh, led to another. He was busy, this and that, and he never did submit them. So about a month ago, I went ahead and bit the bullet. I joined CGC myself. It cost $149 to join. And um, I submitted the books myself. I submitted these, um, I believe, on April 11th, around there. So about a month it took to uh, actually get these done. So even though I posted that video six months ago, it's actually only taking CGC about a month to turn these around. So let's open them up. I'm kind of scared um, to see what they actually came back graded. The box is huge compared to the box that I sent them that had the comics in it, and it's super heavy. So that just tells me that you know the, uh, the protective case that they put them in is not a cheap case. And it shouldn't be for what I paid. I'll go through the price breakdown and let you know about what this cost, just in case you're curious. I've never done this before yourself. Oh man, nervous, nervous, nervous. Very good packaging. The box is super thick. Bubble packed very nicely. I'm just gonna pull these out um, as they're stacked in here. There's a piece of cardboard over the top. I'm not going to look in the box. This this cardboard here is covering up the uh, four books, so I have no idea which one's on top. I got my fingers crossed that the grades are going to come back better than I had hoped. I'll kind of review what I said I thought they would be when I shipped them off to see what uh, what they compare to. And I've seen some videos where um, they got back the shipments uh, most, mostly from other companies, not so much CGC, and the cases were cracked or broken. So fingers crossed that that's not the case here, too. So let's get started without further ado. I'm super nervous. Okay, the very first one is the Avengers number one. Super duper looking case. All right. Avengers number, I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm so confused. This is Avengers number two that was on the top. Um, it's a super thick case, um, super solid. There's the back. Um, it also states what the grade was, uh, the number, and the, the month and year that it was released. So it got a nice pressing in there. Oh, it's just, it's just gorgeous. Okay, so this is Avengers number two. It rated a 3.5. Try to get the glare off of this best I can, but it's going to be very difficult with the, uh, with the cover on it. Let's see. This one I actually hoped... When I sent it off, that I would get a three and a half to four, so that's right on par. Um, if you've never seen a CGC uh, protective case, these things are amazing. Um, it actually says a uh, Stan Lee story, Jack Kirby um, art, Jack Kirby color or cover, um, first appearance of the Space Phantom, Hulk leaves the Avengers. It's just an absolutely beautiful um, case in the way they present this. And whether you want to buy into the grading or not, um, the actual grading helps when you go to sell them because um, you've had a, a, a you know an unbiased party look at it. So if I was to throw this on eBay at a 3.5 rating, um, I think it books for blah 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 quite a bit. Um, this would probably actually go for 450 dollars, something like that, if it was. Uh, uh, on eBay, rated at a 3.5, and I wouldn't have any trouble getting that because it is graded by CGC. Okay, next up, and this is actually the bag that that is in as well, so they're very well protected when they send it back. So here is, uh, here is Avengers number one. When I sent Avengers number one off, I said that I had hoped that it would come back a three to three and a half, and I got a two and a half. So, not great, but you know, this book's 52 years old. It's seen some rough times, like I said in the original video. It's got some really bad spine work here, but this book is pressed now. 
Um, it's not going to get any worse than it actually was when I, when I sent it off. You know, this would probably get anywhere between, I don't know, $800 and $1,000 the way it is now, even at a 2.5. So, you know, there, there's not as many um, produced back then as there are now. Today they mass produce, and unless it's a, a variant cover, they, they short print those. But these were what they were. And there's, you know, just not a mass production of these out there. So I'm still glad to have a two and a half uh, in my collection. Um, you know, it's better than most people have. So I'm, I'm happy with that. This one says, uh, Stanley Story, Jack Kirby Art. Um, this is creamed off white pages. So I don't think the other one actually said anything about, okay, off white to white pages on the Avengers number two. So the Avengers number one says creamed to off white pages. So I... You know, that's about what I thought. I'll I'll live with that. Not much I can do about it anyway. Then you dig down a little bit deeper, and there is another protective case. Some paperwork. Some special offers. Um, the official um, receipt when I sent it in. Next up is the Giant Size X-Men number one. This one says it has off-white to white pages. That's a, just a, I love that book. It's just a gorgeous book. So this one, when I sent it off, I said that I had hoped that I would get a 7.5 to 8. And this one actually came back in uh, 7.5. So that's, uh, that's great. I'm glad it wasn't any lower. It's a good-looking book. Like I said, it's off-white to white pages. Um, Lynn Ween story. Um, Gil Kane cover. Yeah, um, summer of 1975 is when that came out. So it's a good-looking book. I can't get over how well uh, these these cases are are just a beautiful display. Um, you know, this one would actually do pretty well. This one would probably go for I don't know. Uh, what's it looking for? I could probably get about 850 out of this one, something like that. You know, with with the grade that it is, you can go on eBay and actually put in you know giant size X Men. Um, graded 7.5 and it would probably come up something close to that 800 maybe something like that next is the incredible hulk number 181 i had said i hope i got a seven and a half to eight and this one actually did much better than that well not much better but better than that uh it has white pages like i said seven and a half to eight and this one actually got a eight and a half a beautiful book um, yeah that's absolutely gorgeous um, so I'm really really stoked about that and all these also have the CGC um, hologram sticker on it so you know it's authentic and uh, the placement in there it's it's nice and straight I mean it's a just a beautiful setup the way they do these I'm, I'm really really happy that I did this tickled to death with uh, the ratings on these, I mean, like I said, now that's pretty cool, even on the tops of them. So if you wanted to save room and stack them up like this, it actually has the grade and the actual comic itself. There it has the names of the comics and the, the grade on it and the issue. So that's pretty neat. Save room, stacking them up like that. Um, so like I said, I submitted these myself. It costs $149 to join. So what they did was they kind of reel you in with uh, the, the kickback that they give you. So they give you that money back towards um, services that CGC offers. So my total bill for this was $319 to have these graded. That includes what it costs me to ship it to them, which you have to have it insured. Um, you have to send it off in a special uh Make sure you pack it to their specifics. Um, you have to submit the um, forms that you fill out online with the case. Um, you can do it online, but I would suggest putting a hard copy in as well. Um, so like I said, um, for me to ship it off and for them to do the service and ship it back, the total was $319. It, some people think that's pretty high, but I, I think for kind of you're paying for kind of peace of mind to say yeah these these books you know graded about what I thought they would and and you kind of know what you could get for them then if you ever decided to sell them I'm not going to sell them 
Um, they're just part of my collection, and I just was really curious. I've never submitted anything, like I said. I've got a few more that I want to send off now, and I'll, I'll probably end up doing that. But with the uh, the kickback that they give you, because they reimburse the 100 and 150 bucks uh, towards your first um, first bill, um, it only cost me $169 total to have four of those um, uh, graded. So I don't think that's too bad. Um, CGC, I think you did me you did me a, a, a great service. Um, I don't have any complaints. I actually even had to call them once because I had a question about something. I don't even remember what it was that I had a question about. Got right through, talked to a person. She was very nice, um, very considerate, um, very helpful. Never had uh, issue one. Um, you can go online. You can actually track this to see where it's at in the process, if it's being graded, if it's uh, done being graded, if it's been shipped or anything like that. And what's funny about this is I actually looked online last night to see if these had been shipped back yet, and it said that it was not. So I'm not sure why the delay in uh, updating the website as far as that goes, but I'm not going to complain because they're here, and they're in great shape. The cases aren't broke. Um, I'm super, super thrilled with the way this came out. So anyway, that's it. Um, like I said, I'm going to submit some more. I've got uh, Preacher number 1 and some odds and ends that I want to send out just to see... Uh, what uh, what it'll do, and I will share those with you when I get ready to send them out too. I'm going to post the link below for the original video, so you can kind of see what was going through my head when I was uh, trying to, you know, guess in my mind exactly what these were going to grade, and uh, for your uh, review as well, if you haven't seen the original video. So anyway, that's all I got for you. Please like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you next time.